This is the Uptick Network Stock Day Podcast, sponsored by InvestorsHangout.com. Penny stock news and interviews from the microcap world. Public information on OTC, pink sheets, and microcap stocks from around the world. With your host, Everett Jolly. On today's show, we have a very exciting guest with us. He is Bob Goldstein. He is the CEO of U.S. Nuclear Corp. And they're doing really some incredible things uh, with their company, which we're going to be uh, talking about that very soon. Well, they trade on the OTC pink sheets under the ticker symbol UCLE. Bob, welcome uh, welcome to the show. Thanks, Everett. Thanks for having me. You know, give us a, just a little preview of what U.S. Nuclear Corp is, and then I want to get into the Q&A today. Sure. Sure. So originally back in World War II on the Manhattan Project at Los Alamos National Labs, they were uh, they had the world's best scientists. Absolutely. And, and they had radiation, uh, a lot of radiation around, and these guys were in danger of toasting themselves. <laughs> so our founder, Hugh Glassford, uh, put out the first commercial-grade radiation equipment, Geiger counters, if you will. Right. And then when he mustered out of the service, you had to be an Army person to work there. When he mustered out of the service, he started uh, Technical Associates, which has, over the years, morphed into U.S. Nuclear Corp. I see. I see. And then you're, you're, you're not the founder of the company. You're the, actually the CEO of the company, correct? Correct. Correct. Now, you guys have some really interesting things going on over there that I'm really excited to talk about today. You guys have uh, sensors that you put on drones and that you actually can detect uh, dangerous elements or dust or chemicals or radio radioactivity uh, coming from a, a particular fire or, or whatever's go going on. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. The, um, uh, you know, the drone is such a wonderful invention and people are having a great time flying all around the place looking at uh, sites and, and visiting uh, the Eiffel Tower, whatever they're doing. But but in the measurement world where I live, this has been a terrible problem all the time because you've got stuff coming out of smokestacks, you've got uh, smoke clouds above a, a, a wildfire or a fire in a hospital. Who knows what's in that cloud? Or who knows what's coming out of that smokestack? If the EPA gets a report that there's some toxic chemicals in a particular community and they there's a couple stacks there. They can just fly our drones around, check out the output of the various stacks, find out uh, which which one's the polluter and who's uh, and what's in it. Because absolutely, we're putting, we're putting radiation detectors and also uh, chemical sensors on there, so you can uh, you can tell a lot about what's coming up the stack or what's in that uh, uh, dust cloud. So I, I know that you guys make the sensors. Are you also building your own drones? Well, we have an arrangement with uh, UF, UAV Flycam, and they build the drones themselves right here in the USA. So you guys are truly the first uh, responders uh, to get there, because if I was a fireman, I would kind of want to know what I'm going into. I don't want to go into something blind, right? That's right. That's right. We, we're we very pleased to be uh, making uh, equipment that's saving firemen's lives because they, you know, they're, they're brave guys, but, and they go in there regardless. But, uh, but you know, they're breathing all kinds of Absolutely. smoke and bad materials that they don't want to do. And uh, so, uh, so the drone helps a lot with that. You know, I wanted to talk about some of your numbers, which are kind of impressive, and, and correct me if, if I'm, I'm off on these. In 2014, sure. you guys did 1.6 million in revenue. In 2015, you guys did north of 2.6 million in revenue. Is that growth going to sustain in 2016 and 2017? I believe it will. I believe it will. The, uh, we have a robust uh, growth strategy, uh, putting out new products with uh, uh, with very little competition and uh, and also uh, uh, acquisition strategy. So I, I think we'll be growing a lot. Well, that's the one thing I wanted to talk about is you, you guys con uh, uh, earlier uh, this year uh, made a third acquisition adding electronics control concepts in New York uh, to, to your brands. Um, is that an important part of your strategy and your rapid growth? Yes, yes, it is. The um, 
back in 2006, uh, we were uh, we were a one million dollar company, and we purchased uh, Overhoff Technology Corp. and and uh, then that made us into a, a bigger company. And now we've purchased uh, Electronic Control Concepts. These are all uh, sensor companies. They're now they're all in the radiation business, but we are planning to add chemical sensor uh, uh, to our manufacturing program as well. At the moment, we buy the chemical sensors from other companies. And then you guys also own Optron uh, Scientific in Los Angeles? Correct, correct. And tell us a little bit about that company. Sure. Well, that was, that was actually the original company that, uh, that uh, grew out of Los Alamos uh, National Labs. And um, the... Uh, we offer a very broad line of radiation sensors and chemical sensors uh, that go to uh, quite a variety of customers. You know, we don't hear a lot about radiation in, in America, and uh, usually when we do hear about it, it could be too late. Is there, is there a, a big market for this? I think so. The, um, uh, you know, people don't think about it, but every hospital has a nuclear medicine department. You hear that word nuclear in there. Right. And, and they also use uh, radiation in the imaging department, their X-ray machines, and um, uh, all the national laboratories. Every university that has a technical engineering program, they have uh, chemistry classes that, uh, that use radioactivity. And radioactivity is also used by new drug developers to uh, track their their precious new molecules through the body of the of the lab animal or through the human body as well. My guest today is Bob Goldstein. He's the CEO of U.S. Nuclear Corp. They trade on the OTC pink sheets under the ticker UCLE. Now, to my understanding, is you guys are not only a national company, but you're an international company too. About fifty percent of your revenues come from internationally. Is that correct? Absolutely, yes. We're, we're proud to have a uh, worldwide rec recognition because we, we specialize in the hard-to-detect uh, things like measuring a, a low-energy tritium, which is a radioactive material, uh, and, um, and measuring radioactivity in water. The other companies, I, I would call them our competitors, have given up on these two projects because they're very hard to do. But... Uh, we're we're smart and we're uh, and uh, and so uh, and we're careful and we're able to do this uh, successfully. Now, when it comes to uh, actually monetizing your products, is it a one and done, or do you have an ongoing residual? Uh, do you have a monthly? How, how does that uh, mo how, the monetizing part of that? Can you explain it to my listeners? Right. Well, we're uh, we're on the traditional uh, uh, program of of build it and sell it uh, we don't uh, we don't do rentals uh, or leases uh, in most cases although with the drones we're thinking about uh, supplying pilots to uh, to fly these various missions because it takes a pilot's license and although the uh, the customer can can develop that skill uh, maybe he wants us to do it so in that case we would be doing uh, services as well so what is your vision for U.S. Nuclear Corp? Is it to have a drone on every fire engine in America, maybe in the world? Uh, take us to, th through that, wh what you guys see. The, uh, yeah, that's exactly it. Uh, this is, uh, as we were saying at the beginning, the drone is the missing tool. Absolutely. To, uh, uh, to, uh, to do the job, all these people, border controls, uh, uh, first responders, fire department, they all need to know what's in that uh, smoke cloud, what's out there, that uh, approaching car that you see on the horizon, is that uh, uh, full of uh, bad chemicals or, or uh, radioactivity? And you can do all these things with a drone and uh, that you, you just couldn't do before. Fixed-wing aircraft don't do the job, and, uh, but drones do. So when you come into a municipality, I mean, it takes probably a lot of meetings in order to get a PO, right? Yeah, yeah, it's true. The uh, drones are new, and, the, of course, the regulations are changing. There's new regulations coming out uh, this month 
on uh, what type of training the pilots need, and that's another thing that may drive our business uh, of supplying pilots for the drones. But it's there. You know, as your kids probably can tell you, uh, flying these drones are not very hard, but uh, you still have to pass some tests. My guest today is Bob Goldstein. He's the CEO of U.S. Nuclear Corp. They trade on the OTC pink sheet under the ticker symbol UCLE. In closing here, Bob, is there anything that you and I didn't get a chance to talk about that you would like to get out to my listeners? I, I think we've about covered it. The uh, but I do want to mention that uh, our products were specializing in the drones and, uh, and, and in the water monitors. Those are products that there's no competitors for. So the market is ours. We just have to uh, 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 supply the products and, and do the marketing, and we have a big future. Well, I think with a market cap of $3.4 million and a stock price at 26 cents a share, and revenues of last year of 2.6 million. I think you guys are completely undervalued. I want to thank you for coming on the show today, uh, telling my uh, listeners a little bit about your company, and we're going to check back with you in a couple of months, and I wish you nothing but success. Thanks, Everett. It's been a real pleasure.